Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The version 2.9.2 of the mylinux for work files is now available. The new version includes the new wallpaper app Waypaper, you can define your own quick links on Waybar and includes some improvements of Hyperlock. You can find all links in the description below and I also want to highlight the documentation of the mylinux for work files, the wiki that you can find on GitLab. At the end of the video, I want to give you a brief view of upcoming versions of the mylinux for work files and the Hyperland starter package. And if you like that video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Let's jump in. Welcome to the Hyperland desktop with the mylinux for work files in the version 2.9.2. And let's jump immediately to the first update, to the first change. You see it here on Waybar. Here is a new icon for ChatGPT. And you see here on the right side a new icon for the mylinux for work logo. And um, both are now SVGs. And with the white color, they are much more integrated into the layout of Waver. But you can also switch the layout. Let's change first the wallpaper. And you know, you can switch the to another theme for Waver with these three dots. And when you go to blur black, for example, you see also here a black version of the ChatGPT icon and the My Linux for Work icon. Let's jump now to the new wallpaper features. When you click here on the wallpaper icon, you see that here is a new dialog. This is Waypaper. And Waypaper gives you a nice preview of your wallpaper that are installed in the wallpaper folder. And you can click on another wallpaper, for example, this one, or this one, and the wallpaper changed immediately. Let's have a look at the features here. So the current wallpaper engine is Hyperpaper. If you have enabled SWWW, you can also use SWWW as a wallpaper engine. Default is Hyperpaper and the wallpaper effects only works with Hyperpaper. This is the feature where you can set wallpapers to a multi-monitor setup. This is the sorting order. You can also select a wallpaper randomly. Here we are. You can refresh the cache of the thumbnail preview of Waypaper with that button. Here are some options and the exit button. The nice thing is now that you can also change the wallpaper folder. So if you have the wallpaper stored in another folder or you have a folder structure, you can switch here to another folder and you can also use show all images of the subfolders. So I think this is a nice addition for your wallpaper collection. And you see here already on top that versions of the wallpaper will be generated. And these versions will be used in Rofi. You see here a blur version of the wallpaper as a background of Rofi. And also on Hyperlock. Yeah, on Hyperlock you have here also a blur version. And here a, a thumbnail of the wallpaper in that circle. No. And if you change to another wallpaper with super key shift W or with to another wallpaper, yeah, you see here already that every time you switch to a new wallpaper, these versions will be generated. But this takes a bit time. That's why I have integrated a cache script into the wallpaper settings. So for example, if you switch now again to the wallpaper with the boon, it switches immediately because the versions of the wallpaper are still available. So also here, when I click now here to on Hyperlock, all the versions are still available. And of course, also here in Rofi. The same here. Switches immediately and I can see here all versions of the wallpaper are immediately available. 
So very nice performance tweak. And the different versions of the wallpaper will be stored in cache. My Linux for work wallpaper generated. Yeah, and you see here all the versions. And of course, this will take a kind of space of your hard disk. And if you want to remove this cache, the cached file, you can do this by opening the dot files app. Go to the new wallpaper section here. And here is the wallpaper cache. So and you can clear the cache with that button and you see all the wallpapers are gone. And next time you change a wallpaper, the new versions will be generated for you in the background. But you can also completely disable the wallpaper cache with that button. Right, let, let's keep it on for now because I want to show you that this also works with wallpaper effects. So let's jump here again to Waybar, right click on that icon and let's choose my favorite effect, Negate Brightness 80. Yeah, and now the wallpaper effect is generated. And also of this version, you see here that a cached version is now there. Let's switch to another wallpaper. For example, this one. Also here, the effect will be enabled. The cached version is here. But now let's jump back to the other wallpaper. Zip. And also here, no new generation of the effect version is needed. Let's take, for example, this one. Effect will be now enabled. And you have this look at me. This looks also very nice. Let's switch to another wallpaper again. Okay, this looks also very spacey. Okay. Let's jump to another new feature. You see here in Waybar two icons, an icon for opening Chrome and an icon to open Nautilus, the file manager. Now you can edit this section of quick links with the new dot files version. You can do this if you open an editor Open the dot files folder, open settings, and then the Waybar Quick Links JSON. And here you can add up to 10 Quick Links in an order that you like. This is the Waybar format to define a Waybar module. So you have an identifier, custom Quick Link, for example, one. The format, this is the icon that you use, though the preview in code is not working in, on my machine. You have an on-click event, so what should happen if you click on that icon and you have a tooltip format. Yeah. So let's change here, for example, the browser. This is Chromium at the moment. And you see that I have already prepared for you a quick link one for Firefox. So when you change this, Save the file and with super key shift B, you reload Waybar and you see now you have the Firefox icon on top. Yeah, and here is Firefox because I execute the command Firefox and the tooltip is open Firefox. So everything is working fine. Yeah, you can also, if you like, let's close it. You can also, if you like, a quick link for Chromium and a quick link for Firefox. So let's rename the quick link one, two, three that we have a um, unique identifier. And let's add here the quick link three between one and two. And now when you reload Waybar, you see now we have the Chromium icon, we have the Firefox icon, and we have the file open file manager icon. So this is working very well. You can also, for example, create a fourth one, the quick link four. Let's open with that link, better bird, the email client. Open better bird is 
the tooltip. And now we need an icon. And you find an icon in Font Awesome. Here is Font Awesome. Um, and I will start searching. Let's search for email. Here are some icons for emails. Let's take, let's take for example here the add icon. I copy that and paste the add email icon here into the format. And of course I need to add the fourth quick link into the quick links group. And now I can click on super key shift B. And now I have here the add icon. And when I click here, you see that better birds opens. Let's change the icon again because I don't like it. So let's take here the envelope, for example, copy it. As said, the preview of the icons is not working in code on my system. Let's reload it with super key shift B. And now we have here the envelope icon and also this opens, of course, better bird. So this is a nice way for you to customize here the quick lens. It was an, a request that I have received often from, from the community and now it's possible. And you can restore this file when you update in the future the mylinuxwork.files without any problem. So no need to reconfigure this the quick links again after an update. The next feature helps me a lot when I want to resize the windows on the screen. So let's open some terminals and you see that you can now change the width and height of the windows with your mouse. You just hover over the border and change the size. This is for me a bit more faster than doing this with a key binding. Key binding is super key shift, left key, right key. But sometimes I want to do this with the mouse and this is now enabled by default with the new version of the dot files. And changing the width and the height of Windows also works if borders are disabled. Yeah, you know, you can disable the border in the Hyperland app to set the border size to zero. And also here you can now change the width and the height with your mouse. With the version 2.9.2, .2, you can now also change the time format of Hyperlock. Let's do this together. I open the Hyperland dot files app. And you see here immediately in the waiver section, the clock format. I can change now the time format, for example, to the American version. And when I now open Hyperlock, you see this is the same now here in Hyperlock. Let's log in again, bring it back to the German version, open Hyperlock, and you see the new format is also now available in Hyperlock. That's it. The MyLinuxWork.files in the version 2.9.2. I hope you like the new update. I want to give you a preview of the upcoming developments. In the next version that I will launch soon, I will define Firefox as the new default browser. I have monitored several issues with Chromium and Firefox works very well on Wayland. That's why I've decided to switch. But I will also extend the wiki to describe how you can use any browser on the mylinuxforwork.files as your default browser. I'm also planning to replace the U-based sidebar with AGS, which is a bit more flexible and faster. And I will bring the Hyperland starter package to other distributions. And the first distribution that I want to try out is Fedora. I hope you like that. And I can bring with that Hyperland to more platforms in the future. And with that, see you next time.